It's mock draft time. Which means my first foray into the mania that has become mock draft season. This will be the first of many. As the process has really just begun and free agency will change some team needs and create others. For my first mock. I have Wyoming quarterback Josh Allen going first overall to the Cleveland Browns. I know all the talk about his bad completion percentage. But he played with a bunch of JV players last year at Wyoming. He is big, strong, tough and has a rocket for an arm. New Browns general manager John Dorsey will come to love his skills. As some scouts have said, he looks like a young John Elway. Quote, that's high praise. But there are several quarterbacks who could go first overall. Including UCLA's Josh Rosen and USC's Sam Darnold. I have both passers gone in my mock by Denver's pick at no. 5. I also have Oklahoma's Baker Mayfield and Oklahoma State's Mason Rudolph going in the first round. And I think there's a chance Louisville's Lamar Jackson could end up at the back end of it as well. That would be six in the first round if that were to happen. Which would once again be a reminder of how valuable the position it is in the league and how fervent the chase to find one can be. The free agent quarterback class, which includes Washington's Kirk Cousins and others, will impact the mocks. I have the New York Jets signing Kirk Cousins for the purpose of this mock, which is why they aren't taking a quarterback in this one. So dive in. But don't hold me to this one. After all, it is just one in about a half dozen to come. 1. Cleveland Browns. Josh Allen. QB. Wyoming. I know there are a lot of draft nicks who don't like this kid. But the league scouts I've talked to love him. He is perfect for the Browns. A big, strong passer who can rip it in the elements. 2. New York Giants. Josh Rosen. QB. UCLA. They have to get the next guy after Eli Manning and Rosen should be the pick. He is a strong-armed passer who can step in and learn for a year or two behind Manning. 3. Indianapolis Colts. Bradley Chubb. De. North Carolina State. Their pass rush has to improve and Chubb is the guy to do it. The Colts need to find their next Dwight Freeney or Robert Mathis. This kid has those tools. 4. Cleveland Browns. From Texans. Saquon Barkley. R.B. Penn State. This is too high for a back for my liking. But I would understand. Barkley is a special runner who can also catch the ball out of the backfield. This draft could go a long way to solving their offensive issues. 5. Denver Broncos. Sam Darnold. QB. USC. They have to find a passer if they don't get one in free agency. Darnold has some issues hand size and motion but he understands the passing game and can make all the throws. 6. New York Jets. Minka Fitzpatrick. CB. Alabama. They drafted two safeties a year ago. So now they get a corner who is a playmaker from a top defense. If they don't land a quarterback in free agency, Baker Mayfield could be in play here. 7. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Denzel Ward. CB. Ohio State. They had major issues on the back end last year and Brent Grimes is a free agent. Their coverage has to improve. 8. Chicago Bears. Calvin Ridley. W.R. Alabama. They have to get a go-to player for Mitchell Trubisky and Ridley is the best of the receiving group. I also think they could go corner here. 9. San Francisco 49ers. Tremaine Edmonds. O.L.B. De. Virginia Tech. He could play the Leo pass rushing spot in their scheme. They could also opt to take a corner. 10. Oakland Raiders. Mike Hughes. CB. UCF. This is a kid who had a lot of impressive games against top-tier receivers and the Raiders have a major need for a corner. This might seem high, but corner value will drive him up boards.
11. Miami Dolphins. Quentin Nelson. G. Notre Dame. They would land the best offensive lineman in the draft in this scenario. He might be one of the five best players in the draft period. 12. Cincinnati Bengals. Orlando Brown. T. Oklahoma. The son of former NFL player with the same name is a nasty physical player. He might be more suited to playing on the right side. Although that doesn't matter as much anymore. 13. Washington Redskins. Derwin James. S. Florida State. They need to get better play on the back end of their defense. James has the ability to be a playmaker in a lot of ways. Even if he didn't play as well last season as expected. 14. Green Bay Packers. Arden Key. Edge. LSU. This is a player who was talked about as a top five player before the year. He needs to get stronger. But he has the speed the Packers need off the edge for new coordinator Mike Pettini. 15. Arizona Cardinals. Baker Mayfield. QB. Oklahoma. He would step in and compete to start right away. Which they need with a major void at the position. He will have to show them his character concerns aren't much. 16. Baltimore Ravens. Dallas Godert. Tay. South Dakota State. They have to get weapons for Joe Flacco. And there really doesn't seem to be a receiver worth taking this high after Ridley. So landing one of the top tight ends makes sense. Could also go offensive line here. 17. Los Angeles Chargers. D-A-R-O-N Payne. D-T de. Alabama. They need to get stouter up front and side and Payne could do that. He would be a nice fit in Gus Bradley's defense. 18. Seattle Seahawks. Vita Vea. D.T. Washington. Teams ran on them more than normal last season and Sheldon Richardson is an unrestricted free agent. They need to get stronger inside and Vea is that type of player. 19. Dallas Cowboys. Christian Kirk. W.R. Texas A&M. They lack speed outside in their offense and it shows up the way teams defend them. They need to back them off and Kirk would help do that. 20. Detroit Lions. Marcus Davenport. De. Texas San Antonio. With Ezekiel Ansa set to be a free agent. They need to get help for a pass rush that was lacking last year. Even if they keep Ansa. They need help. This kid is raw but has the size and speed scouts love. 21. Buffalo Bills. Mason Rudolph. QB. Oklahoma State. Is this too high? Maybe to some, but he is a guy league scouts like more than draft analysts. The Bills have to try and get a franchise passer if they don't want Tyrod Taylor. 22. Buffalo Bills from Chiefs. Billy Price. See Ohio State. With the retirement of center Eric Wood, they have to get a replacement and Price is the best of this year's group. He could also play guard if needed. 23. Los Angeles Rams. Isaiah Oliver. CB. Colorado. Tremaine Johnson is their best corner and he is likely gone via free agency. They have to get help at that spot and might need to use several picks at the position. 24. Carolina Panthers. D. J. Clark. W. R. Maryland. They have to get speed outside for Cam Newton and Clark is said to be a sub-4. 4, four receiver. He also has good size at 6-3. 25. Tennessee Titans. James Daniels. G. C. Iowa. The linemen from Iowa usually come ready to play right away and Daniels can help at two spots. The interior of their line has to be better. 26. Atlanta Falcons. Isaiah Wynn. G. Georgia. Their guard play last season wasn't as good as the year before. And that's a reason why the offense wasn't as good. Matt Ryan needs space in front of him. 27. New Orleans Saints. Harold Landry. De. 
Boston College. They need to get help for Cam Jordan in terms of an outside pass rush. Landry played just nine games on a bad ankle last year. But he had 16 sacks in 2016. 28. Pittsburgh Steelers. Roquan Smith. L.B. Georgia. When Ryan Shazier went down for the year. Their defense suffered. With his future in doubt. They need to get a playmaking linebacker and Smith is that guy. 29. Jacksonville Jaguars. Connor Williams. T. Texas. They have to get better up front and Williams would give them tackle flexibility with second year. Player Cam Robinson if they keep Jeremy Parnell at right tackle. Robinson has ability. But he struggled at times last season and could be moved to guard if they were to land a tackle or to the right side. 30. Minnesota Vikings. Mike McGlinchey. T. Notre Dame. They need to get better at right tackle and McGlinchey would do that. He played the left side at Notre Dame. But could easily move to the right side. 31. New England Patriots. Harrison Phillips. D.T. Stanford. Their front seven needs upgrading in the worst way. Phillips is a smart player as an academic All-American. And we know how Bill Belichick loves that about players. Might go a lot higher than this when all said and done. 32. Philadelphia Eagles. Rashawn Evans. L.B. Alabama. He is a tough, nasty player who knows how to get to the football. The Eagles could be losing Nigel Bradham to free agency and Jordan Hicks is coming off a major injury.